I've reviewed a fair amount of skincare products on this channel, and I know how to apply makeup more than maybe your average male consumer, whatever that person might look like. I would imagine they wear cargo shorts and flip-flops. So while I personally have the experience and expertise to choose different products that work best for me, I also really appreciate a line of male grooming products that strips it down and makes it easy for every male to access. To access. You may have seen a previous video where we tried out Alter for Men Face Fix, which is like a men's concealer. Alter for Men reached out and sent me a few of their other products to try so that we can get the full grooming experience. Will I be incorporating any of these products into my routine? There's only one way to find out. That's to slather them on my face while you watch it. It's a festival of Alter for Men reviewings. That didn't make any sense. Let's get started. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for part two of our Alter for Men face fix review. We've got this face wash, which says it's hydrating, a whiskey infused moisturizer. Everybody knows whiskey is really good for the skin. I actually didn't know that because it's not true, but I can't wait to see how this feels. This is the one I'm most interested in though. It's the Alter for Men blemish balm in the shade medium. We're gonna give these new products a shot, see if they're worth the price, but first make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more male grooming routines like this. I'm happy to pick up some more stuff to try out with you. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload new ones every week. What I'm about to do is going to be so stupid, but I've already started doing it. So let's just keep riding the crazy train. I've got this little cereal bowl filled with water. It's hard to wash your face without a sink. And this is not really a good way to do it either, but okay. I guess I'll just dip my face in. <laughs> what is my issue? <laughs> I gotta try a different way. I'm gonna just splash my face a little bit. That was way more of a mess than it should have been. Let's get some of this hydrating cleanser on. It's very liquidy in consistency. I use right now like a Cetaphil cleanser, so nothing fancy. This one seems to have a comparable ingredients list. And the fragrance is actually the first thing that I'm noticing. There is a fragrance in here, and it kind of reminds me of like Armani Code, if you've ever tried that men's fragrance. It foams up pretty well, don't you think? And it definitely doesn't feel like it's stripping anything out of my skin, like it's cleansing but not stinging or anything like that. Not harsh. The fragrance is nice. Let's see how it feels when we rinse it off. I'll be right back. Welcome to Wet Face World. Would you like your face soaked and wetted down today? Wet Face World, where everyone's faces are drenched. <laughs> I can't take anything seriously. I have to work that out. Despite there being way more liquid in my apartment on the floor than there should be for someone who just washed their face, this feels really good. My face doesn't feel dried out at all. It feels clean. It looks clean to me too. Don't you see that squeaky clean shine there? <laughs> To me, I could probably do without a fragrance in my face wash, just cause that seems like something a body wash would have and not necessarily something I'd wanna use on my face. But I will say that the fragrance does smell really good. It reminds me a lot of that Armani fragrance, which was worn by somebody that I had a crush on as a teenager. I won't say his name, but I will say his initials and I will tell you TM, too much information for you to have. It is a very runny consistency, so it makes it a little harder to dispense into the hand, but it still worked really nicely. It's a good face wash. Next up, we have this whiskey infused moisturizer. There's no copy on the packaging that tells me why it's whiskey infused or what that means exactly. Um, let's read the ingredient. It has witch hazel, cocoa butter, algae. That's a skincare ingredient. Some other ingredients that are not amazing, but that's fine. Okay. I think this is the whiskey part. It says it has barley seed extract. Whiskey is made from barley, right? So maybe that's what they're referring to. I agree that whiskey infused has a much more masculine energy than barley soaked. Let's dispense a little bit and see how this moisturizes. It has a very creamy feel to it. And because I read that cocoa butter is in here, I feel like it's probably very rich and emollient and I don't think I'll need very much at all. So we'll just start with a small pea size amount like this. It does have a nice fragrance to it. It's not whiskey, it's not perfume like the cleanser was, but it has a nice kind of natural moisturizer fragrance to it. it smells clean 
and it absorbs into the skin pretty fast. It doesn't have a lot of slip, so it feels like it's pretty much in there right now. What do you think? My skin definitely absorbed it pretty quickly. There's some tackiness to the skin. If you have dry skin, this is definitely gonna work great for you. I think if I were to wear this every day, it's a little too oily for me. I'll probably be shiny in just a couple hours if I were to use this, I'm better off with an oil-free moisturizer. But if I were like sunburned or something, I would probably put this on because it's really nourishing, it feels like anyway. And it's a pretty good value, I would say. that It's a 3.72 ounce bottle of moisturizer, which is bigger than what you get for traditionally female brands. Next up, let's try this blemish balm. It comes in a couple different shades. So we've got the shade medium. It says it will even skin tone, cover redness, and it has a natural finish. This I've actually been using for the past few days and I really like it. It has a very watery consistency. You wanna make sure you shake it up in that bottle really fast, but what I love about it is how quickly it just blends out. Like I'm not even using a mirror right now, but I'm still able to just take that little quarter inch strip of product and blend it out over the face basically without looking. And it's a very sheer coverage, but it does help just neutralize redness throughout the face and knock out some of the visibility for some pronounced red spots like where I've had breakouts in the past. Just like the concealer, this has like an extremely natural finish to it to the point where I would not be afraid of wearing this even in an up close setting because no one is gonna know that you have anything on your face. It's kind of a benefit of a BB cream is it works like a moisturizer so it doesn't appear like you're covering anything. It's very undetectable. And I think when I pair it with the Alter for Men face fix, it'll have a very flattering result. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen this, but look, it looks like a little MacBook, and then when you open it, it's a mirror. How cute is that? I use this uh, Alter for Men face fix all the time. It's hard to open. I don't like that, but it's an amazing product, and it's so affordable. We'll just do a little of the face fix under the eyes. Always use your ring finger for this. I don't know if I told you guys that last time, but that's important. Now I'm just gonna see if there's anywhere else that I want to touch up blemishes or corrections that I want to make and I am done. What do you guys think of the finished result? I feel like this is a very natural, very flattering look for a male grooming line. Out of all of the four products we put on today, the standouts for me by far are the old favorite, the Face Fix, and the new favorite, Blemish Balm, which I again have been using pretty much daily since I got it. I love that it dries onto the skin really naturally. It does doesn't add any extra moisture or hydration or oiliness to, to the skin that's gonna make me shiny throughout the day. It just blends out to like this kind of liquid to powder kind of feel and it looks like nothing. And then the same reason I love Alter for Men Face Fix. It looks great under the eyes. You really can't see that I have anything on and it just kind of helps naturally brighten the face. As for the cleanser and the whiskey infused moisturizer, if you're in the market for either of these types of products and you're shopping for either of the other two on the Alter for Men website, then I I would definitely say these are safe choices. Me personally, I would probably rather stick with my unfragranced face wash and my oil-free moisturizer, but if you don't have those particular issues or you like maybe kind of a cologne scent, I will say for sure though that the face fix and the blemish balm are definitely winners in my book. I will absolutely keep wearing these and buy them again because the prices are really good on these. Check it out on the Amazon link below. They're very affordable. That's an affiliate link, but I do want to also thank Alter for Men for sending me these products for free to try out and review with you here on my channel. What do you think of Alter for Men now that we've tried out a few more of the products? Would you give any of these a try? Let me know if you're into male grooming or if you're just starting out what you think of these guys. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more Instagram product reviews for men specifically or male grooming videos. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload new ones every week. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for getting face fixed with me today. I will see you next time.